Hello. <laughs> We're a little bit early today. <laughs> Let's see. Everything working out fine? How is everybody today? I hope the audio levels are uh, all right. As you can see, I, I moved myself a little bit <laughs> over to the side so that I'm not blocking as much of the game as I was before. <laughs> I hope everybody is ready to spend today looking at cute cookies. <laughs> this, uh, this music has actually been making me fall asleep <laughs> sitting here waiting for the start of the stream though. Uh, it's very soothing. <laughs> okay, let's see here. So... Yes, so today we're playing Cookie Run Oven Break. It's actually a, quite a relatively old game. I believe it was released in 2015, 2016. Um, wow, early? Yeah. <laughs> but yes, um, pretty delicious. <laughs> um, I... I, the ethics of trying to eat uh, cookies that are objectively delicious but are also sentient are um, very sketchy. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> this is uh, a mobile game, as you can see. It's on my phone, so you'll probably see me look down a lot today. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so this cutie right here. This is a sea fairy cookie. <laughs> She's very cute. And also very sad. <laughs> There's a lot of different kind of uh, cookies in this game. A lot of unique designs. They're all very cute. And all of them have uh, different abilities as well that um, whenever they are running occur. There's a, a lot that I have, but a lot that I also don't have yet, as you can see here. A lot. A lot. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but we'll, we'll uh, unlock everybody eventually. Um, my favorite cookie. If I could scroll to the top here. This is my favorite cookie. This is Earl Grey Cookie. He's a hotelier. He does a little spinny spinny and then a uh, clap clap. <laughs> and then housekeeping comes in. It's it's quite cute. <laughs> um, Lilac Cookie is a relatively new cookie that I increased to level 15 from events and such. Uh, say when with a uh, sorbet shark cookie because he recently had a level up leveling up event Hello chess welcome welcome <laughs> I'm a little bit early today <laughs> Each cookie has their own story as well, which we might go over um, on another stream and They also have a combi pet, which is like basically their official pet um, Yeah and also magic candies that add additional little things that increase scores and such. Uh, I've been trying to get a uh, yogurt cream cookie here up to level 15 and the magic candy up. I'm almost there. <laughs> but yeah, this, this game has quite a few different modes. There's the main story, which I completed on normal mode, but I'm still working on the hard mode for. And you can collect uh, some drops and such. There is, of course, a story as as it goes. It's uh, not the most sophisticated story. <laughs> um, but then again, what are you expecting from a game about cookies? <laughs> I see my man almond cookie. Oh, I see. I see that you. I see that you simp for, for the father. <laughs> Papa detective. <laughs> He's very cool and very. 
but yes and then there's also the challenge ones cookie trials if you have the cookie and their corresponding combi pet then you can run in their trial and get items for their uh, magic candies and such breakout is the original mode essentially um escape from the oven this was a uh, this was um, basically the the whole gameplay of the original 2015. Um, listen, <laughs> okay. To be fair, I heard that a lot of people simped over almond cookie when it came out, so you know you're not you're not the only one <laughs> in that. <laughs> but yes, uh, there's also a main episode which which changes every so often as the season changes. This time it's the Fragrant uh, Lotus Paradise, which um, I'll do a run in both Special Episode 1 and the main episode for today. There's a competitive mode, which is Trophy Race. You compete against um, other players, and whoever gets the highest, you rank on the scoreboard and then get trophies, etc. Champions League is, um, they have like the set um, different kinds of cookies that you can run with and then you try to get high scores and they get rewards depending on how good you do as you can see there's also event modes which uh, rotate every so often and then the um, guild runs although right now it's the um, it's the I guess you could call it like season finale <laughs> so it's mostly just the big the big guilds um, at the top of the charts fighting with each other in like a tournament style. So no guild runs for us for now, but once that's over then um, They'll probably be back Anyway, so for today, like I said, we're gonna be doing some breakout Let me start this over So This is my lineup for today, again, I don't have many cookies at level 15. <laughs> um, Chess will get to see his beloved almond cookie near the end there. Um, right before my favorite Earl Grey cookie. Uh, do list your favorite cookies in the comments, uh, in the chat here. <laughs> and then I'll see if I, if I have um, the pair. Anyway. Uh, shall we begin running? This is this is butter pretzel cookie. They're an artist. As you can see. Shush! I need complete focus right now. <laughs> their whole thing is they they make a painting and such. And their pet is the petite conte. Let me go. So for this one, you have to collect um, the specific paint colors, and then you have to paint. <laughs> yeah. Also, um, everything in this game has a face on it, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so it's quite funny. Um, like like this potato. Poor potato. Everything is alive in this game, which is, um... Well, I don't know if they're alive, they just have faces on them, but... Mm... In a way, it's a quite a... <laughs> morbid world. Hup, hup! There we go. Yellow. Blue. And black. Dash, dash, dash. Gonna have to open Cookie Run Kingdom to remember uh, your faves. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few cookies in uh, Kingdom actually that aren't in Oven Break, like Espresso Cookie and uh, Madeline Cookie, for example. But uh, most of them are in both games because they originated from um, Oven Break. Hup, hup. 
Now, the bad thing about butter pretzel cookies uh, skill is that they're... Uh, while you're collecting the paints and stuff, um, it is a magnet effect for uh, the jellies that you run past, but it's just a normal magnet effect. So special jellies like the rainbow jellies and such, um, they won't be collected unless you're actually running on top of them. So it means that if <laughs> uh, if you're caught at an unfortunate time, um, they they won't you won't actually be able to collect them. So. Okay, red, black. Da da da. All right. That's one done. Two hundred thousand is actually a really good result, especially since um, butter pretzel cookie is not leveled up. Oh. <laughs> Apologies for that. That's uh, that's one of my cats. <laughs> but yeah, um, especially because butter pretzel cookie isn't is only level eleven and not max level yet. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> um. Eggy. Eggy. Oh, he's ru he's rubbing against my leg. He wants attention. Baby, I just started screaming. I'll play with you after, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I got stuck on the side there. <laughs> he's... He's looking at me pitifully. <laughs> no, I must run with Bell Pepper Cookie. He's a little... He's a little boy genius. Makes a... He made a mech for himself, a pepper mech. Oh, he's, he's scratching the back of my chair. <laughs> okay, no. No distractions. Ha! Kip, kip, kip! So as you can see, um... Bell Pepper Cookie's skill here puts him in the, in the giant mech robot that he made. He made it himself, even though he's a little baby. What a smart boy. <laughs> okay, yep. And as you can see, when he jumps, he has the little glasses shine. It's cute. <laughs> Bonus time! Oh. Oh yeah, I do have, um... I'm using the yogurt... Um... Set for my... For my jellies. Which is why they all have little, uh, little uh, yogurt turbans on. <laughs> there we go. Yep. <laughs> Spooky Ghost Cemetery. I mean, it's more cute than anything, but... <laughs> Everything in this game is cute, so... I guess... I guess the zombies, you could consider them spooky? Creepy ghost hideout. All right. <laughs> Look at the ghosts doing a peekaboo. <laughs> run, little guy, run! Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's about the end. Hundred forty-eight thousand. Not the best, but. It's, uh, it's good enough. <laughs> Alright. 
Our next com combi, this one, um, if you play Cookie Run Kingdom, you'll recognize him. This is Licorice Cookie. He has uh, licorice servants. <laughs> He's a pitiful guy. <laughs> I like him a lot. Also, his pet is a bat cat. He also he also um, references. I always forget what the what the cake werewolf's name is, but he he references him too in one of his lines uh, pre-run. <laughs> when you least expect it. <laughs> So as you can see, he has his licorice servants. So with his uh, candy, he also collects uh, these uh, souls when you double jump and you press the slide button in the air. Like so. And then when he gets enough of the souls, then he summons a giant licorice servant. That'll run through the stage for a little bit. Oh, oh. As you can see, uh, this game can get quite chaotic at times. It kind of requires not only concentration, but you kind of need to be able to, like, Parse what's going on as well. Oh, there's the giant liquor soldier. Up. Okay, we're in the mole habitat. Well, I mean, oh, no, I missed the button. Dang it, licorice cookie. <laughs> Why did you have to activate your skill just then? Oh well, it happens. So obviously green buttons are good. Uh, there's also red buttons that are bad. They're quite a uh, self-explanatory. <laughs> I mean, the red buttons have like a skull and crossbones on them, so you know if you couldn't figure that out. He's almost done. Oh, he's done. <laughs> the the little exhausted portraits when they're finished their runs and they're all tired out is so cute. Um, it actually it it's different depending on whether um, the run ends because they're exhausted or because they've actually ran ran into something. Ah, uh, this is one of my favorite cookies. This is a uh, blueberry pie. They're actually a librarian at this magic library, and hence their uh, their their friend is this uh, antique bookmark, who looks super. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that face, but <laughs> yes, at the archives. So as you can see. Blueberry pie cookie um, basically has a magical tome. And she summoned this thing. <laughs> and she also does magic and stuff. Which, um, which we'll see in a moment. There we go. Look at him go! Very cool. Okay. I'm not a fan of these sewers. Especially these dumb fish. With their dumb looks on their faces. But like the um, like butter pretzel cookie from earlier, you can only collect the special jellies, like the rainbow jellies, if you're actually you know if you actually touch them, which can be you know an issue if 
their space in a way that you can't really touch them all during the little um, magic thing there. All right, go, 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 go. Oops, uh-oh, oh, that was close. I missed the... I missed the potion. Oh well. At least we got past to this part. Nice! We just managed to get to the next section. <laughs> Good job! 130 is pretty low, but I'm, I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes! Yogurt cream! I really like yogurt cream. <laughs> He's also very useful. Um, he has three different magical treasures that you can switch between when you slide. And um, they're very useful. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. Here's one of them. I love him so much. Look at him. He's adorable. <laughs> Also, okay, but imagine going to a barbecue party and then seeing the bell peppers screaming when you put them on the grill. <laughs> because that's what this is. <laughs> that's what this whole section is. <laughs> Would you lose your appetite? Those peppers are not flattering. <laughs> like, look at their faces. <laughs> not one of the cute faces, I gotta say. Da 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 Right? <laughs> That potion. Alright, we're in Gnome Land. Gnome Man's Land? That's a really bad joke, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 shoot, shoot. Yep. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> I should have been paying attention, but I wasn't. I was thinking about something else. Like how bad that joke was. But you know. <laughs> Alright. Six. Nine. All right. Ribbit, ribbit, mushroom forest. Whoop. Yeah. Nice timing because I was just about to run out of health there. These frogs do not look amused, though. Happy! <laughs> Click. Snail Swamp.
These snails also do not look like they're enjoying themselves. There we go. And A! We got a 376 this time. It more than makes up for the previous one. <laughs> Punished. <laughs> All right, next one is spinach cookie. Veggies make the best late night snacks. Spinach cookie loves vegetables. <laughs> she also has uh, like several different vegetables that she can collect that give her power ups. Like this one, the spinach makes her big. Yep, do, 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 do. The chili pepper makes her run. Do, 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 do. The carrot changes the basic jellies in front of her. Wink. And the eggplant restores health. Actually, I'm not sure what the carrot does. I forget. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> oh, thank you very much for subscribing. <laughs> MLG Weiss. Um, as you could see from my little alert box there, I have Lacrimosa Cookie running, which is very appropriate for this game. <laughs> I drew him myself. Um, petition to add Lacrimosa Cookie in this game. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ah! Oh no, I screwed up. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, oh. This bit is a little bit finicky. Ah! I got hit again. Ah, uh, oh well. <laughs> That's what happens. But hey, um, 187 isn't bad. We're already up to uh, Ruby 2. Next is Sorbet Shark Cookie. Um, on land, he goes and on uh, in the sea, he actually talks normally because he can only talk underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go! He's a shark. Um, I think... I'm pretty sure, um... Sorbet Shark Cookie was actually based off the Little Mermaid. Which would make sense. Especially because he he only talks in... Ooh! <laughs> on land. And is, of course, a, a mer... A mer cookie? <laughs> okay. Lucky. Let me get that. Oh. Yeah. Sorbet shark cookie is a, a very useful cookie to have, though. He's very useful in um, Breakout Special Episode 2 because he collects pirate coins. Um. He attracts pirate coins like a like a like a magnet. Okay. Collect them treasures. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> How did I manage that? I literally just jumped right into that hole. <laughs> that was really sad. It's okay, it's not an unrecoverable mistake. It's just a bit of a pity because that could have totally been avoided. Okay. Ah, uh, there is a potion right there though. Ugh. Oh well. 
186, I can't complain. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, Chess, you still here? We've got your favorite almond cookie. <laughs> so almond cookie, he is a detective. He catches crims with his almond handcuffs. And uh, his pet here, uh, Constable Whiskers, he, uh, he rescues stray cats and uh, we take them along for a little bit of a ride. <laughs> Dun dun da dun da 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 bum da 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 Got him It's so dramatic Slide Him! <laughs> to be fair, he is a handsome cookie. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, I should've just- I should've just dropped there. Ah. Oh, that was bad judgment on my part. Better safe than sorry sometimes. Oh! So again, he doesn't collect um, these special jellies unless he's right over top of them. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Ah, dang it, my bubble, no! <laughs> okay, concentration time. Hup, hup. Wide. All right, there we go. I do really like his outfit, though. It's classy. Um, I've seen some people calling him a grandpa, but he doesn't really look that old to me. I'd say, like, in his 40s at the most. <laughs> I guess it's because of the, um... the, like, wrinkle on his face, but... There we go. Dad's run is over. 178, pretty good! <laughs> and we're at Diamond 4 already, which is really good. Next is my favorite, Earl Grey. <laughs> and the Crying Saucer. Um, it's... <laughs> It's funny, the story of the Crying Saucer pet is that uh, when Earl Grey Cookie was first starting out and training to become a hotelier, um, he broke a teacup. That It was the teacup that, you know, was the companion to the saucer. Uh, and the saucer was so distressed that he decided to basically haunt sa slash stalk <laughs> Earl Grey Cookie forever. <laughs> in order to uh, prevent any more mistakes like that from happening. <laughs> so it's like, mmm... Everybody makes mistakes, especially when starting out. <laughs> but, sad. <laughs> anyway, so the Crying Saucer's whole thing is that, um... There's like a broken teacup that appears, and then he goes and revives it. He puts little bandages on it, it's so cute. Uh, I really like the music in this game, too. I heard that it's all actually, um... Like, there's just, it's just from a sound font, which is quite impressive. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, I need to sneeze. I need to sneeze. <laughs> Oh no, the giant fossil cliff. Um, ah, there we go. Nine, eight, three, seven. Jump, jump. I need to sneeze. <laughs> this is distressing. Ah, 
Ah. Jump. Oh shoot. Okay, okay, we're safe. Ow! Ugh, I always screw up there. Okay, 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 let's do this. Hop, 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 down. Hop, 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 hop. Okay, good. I got the chef in. Give me tasty treats, please. <laughs> Okay, bird time. Hop, slide, jump, jump. Nine, I don't know what number that was. I don't know what numbers those were. <laughs> Oops. Okay, hop, hop. All right, we're done. <laughs> can I sneeze now? Can I, can I sneeze? It's gone. <laughs> My sneeze is gone. Dang it. All right, we're at diamond three. This is our last cookie. Doomed sneeze. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is our last cookie. It's lilac cookie. Um, he has uh, chakrams and stuff, and you get to fight bandits. Oh. Look at him go. Come on, there we go. Alright, hop, hop, hop. Nyum, hop, 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 Um, let's try that again. <laughs> let's try that again. That was really sad. <laughs> Jeez. To be fair, it does get quite tricky from this point, so. Okay, let's try this again. Hop, 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 hop. Hop, 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 oh, hop, oh no, I'm off timing, my timing's off. Oh no, 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 okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> dang it, okay. I was off there, but that's okay. Oh, 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 jump, jump, bonus time, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we at least avoided what happened last time. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. We, at least we get some health there. Come on. There we go. If the feet are this big, I'm wondering what the actual entire animal looks like. Oh! Uh-oh. Hop. Hop. Oh. Oh, I missed, um, I missed a, a little thing. But oh well. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Stressful. <laughs> Alright, another bonus time. This is looking good. Bap, bap, bap. Oh, I missed the. I missed the gigantic potion, but oh well. Okay, good.
All right. Look at these. Ah! Look at these disinterested cacti. Oh, that means we're done. Okay, that's fine though. That's fine. It's better than the. <laughs> the <laughs> it's better than the first attempt. <laughs> but hey, we made it to Diamond One. This is really good. <laughs> hey. And we're done our run. Look at that. Butter pretzel went far. Underground channel, yogurt cream cookie. Oh, he went really far. Spinach, sorbet, almond, gray, and then the final one. So, hey. We got, we got, um, I think that's a billion? Almost two billion. Almost two bo billion points, which is really, really good. <laughs> Especially considering that most of my cookies aren't level 15. So yeah, uh, that was fun. <laughs> uh, any of the cookies that you enjoyed the best out of those 10? Meanwhile, I'm going to collect these event rewards. The latest cookie in, in, that was introduced to this game is Jinseng Cookie, who is a really nice old man, and he also gets sparkly ugu eyes. <laughs> the one that went woo -woo -woo on land. <laughs> Sorbet Shark Cookie. Woo -woo 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 -woo. <laughs> I mean, because they're all cookies, most cookies, if you leave them in water for too long, they get soggy, and uh, that's that's not good for their health. <laughs> but Sorbet Shark Cookie is an, exe an exception because he, you know, he, he he's a mer cookie. <laughs> okay, shall we do... The main episode now as well. So the lineup is pretty similar, um, but this time I added in croissant cookie and sea fairy cookie into the mix. Uh, why you may ask? No particular reason. <laughs> okay, so but I really like uh, this. Um, the Fragrant Lotus per Paradise. It's very pretty. And there's also a bunch of um, new functions, I guess you could call them. Okay, time to paint the masterpiece. I'm sure you've noticed as well, but um, they also arranged the jellies to make shapes and stuff, which is quite cute. Da! Look at these happy turtles that I just destroyed and murdered and turned into coins. Yay! Happy turtles. The coconuts also have faces occasionally, as you can see. <laughs> Everything has faces. Everything is faces. I mean, it's cute in this game, but imagining a world like that is quite... Like, in another way, you could turn this game into a horror game. Da 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 da
Oh, I can't get those, um, the lotus jellies up there because of this. Oh, well. The sacrifices you must make for art! <laughs> Alright. Next up is Licorice Cookie. Let's just go right on in. Boom! Okay, now we can get them. Or not. <laughs> Thanks for jumping right over them, licorice cookie. <laughs> oh well. Also, did you notice the the, tur the giant turtle island in the background? It's very cute. <laughs> Alright. Next, we're going to the apothecary! Look at all these poor dead ginsengs. Whoa! As you can see, you need to collect these uh, fans in order to blow away the mist generated from the medicines here. Yay! Cute turtles. <laughs> Alright, next is croissant cookie. Yeah! Go, 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 go. Croissant cookie is a favorite of a lot of people, as far as I'm aware. Alongside a uh, timekeeper cookie, which is one of the legendaries. These poor dead herbs. <laughs> No, give me those. Uh, uh. There you go. I find um, croissant cookies design quite cute. They made um, they made their hair into croissants, <laughs> as you can see. Wholesome herb bill. Got a pointunia. Another one. Why are these herbs so angry? 
Oh, did you see the ones sitting on top of the log there? That's cute. <laughs> okay, after this ends, then, um, croissant cookies run will be over. Unless it's interrupted by this bit, which is nice. Get to collect a little bit more. Can I get that, um... That rare materials pouch, please? Yes! Oh, ho, ho, that's good timing. That's really good timing. Okay. Yes! We got it, though. <laughs> and hey, 184. Pretty good. Next combi is Sea Fairy Cookie here. She's one of my favorites. Look at her. Beauty. Grace. Bubbles. <laughs> I really like her design, especially how they made her hair water, like a tide. I believe she was released in Cookie Run Kingdom as well. Alright, hidden stage. Hidden stage. Hup. Let's steal some jellies and herbs from these root guys. Da, 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 da. Piku. Oh. Hup. And some extra energy at the end. Very nice. What herb are we collecting this time? Oh yeah, the leap grass. Okay. Okay. Hup. Hup. Dup, dup. Oh, I missed the end there. Dup, dup. Dup. Hup, hup. There we go. One more. Hup, hup. Last one. Okay. Oh. My timing. Hup. Hup. Hup, hup. Yes. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> okay. Continuing on. Herbville is so, like, such a long stage, though, in my opinion. Especially made longer with the little, um, like, the herb picking sections, but it's okay. It's cute. This is the Vega root. Get more energy. Hortensia Town! I really like this one. It's very pretty. Look at the flowers! And if you break them, you also get the flower jellies. <laughs> See, fairy cookie skill is really helpful here. Okay. 
Okay, that wasn't a good jump sequence. But another- oh! <laughs> We're gonna have to leave that to the next cookie. But another thing that I like about Hortensia Town is the whole, um, when you- when you pick up the balloon items, then, um, it slows your jumping and falling. Okay. Blackberry cookie is going to be next. Doing that for us. Ba, 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 ba. Hey! Woo! I would love to visit somewhere like Hortensia Town. Just flowers everywhere. I wouldn't want to be the one that needs to take care of all these flowers, though. <laughs> bonus time um, stage thing with the lotus flowers everywhere in the background it's very cute and the nice music okay As you can see, some of the flowers also have faces, so... Where does it end? <laughs> to be fair, the jellies also have faces, and um, the cookies eat them, so... And giant gingerbread jet propelling through the sky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, next is spinach cookie. Let's continue. <laughs> We're just at the end of Hortensia Town, so we'll be out of here soon, sadly. Okay, next is the Wish Festival. So it's essentially Hort. Okay, let's go. Boom! <laughs> Spinach cookie flying well across the sky. Um... But yes, it's- it's basic- oh. <laughs> It's basically Hortensia Town, except all dressed up for the Wish Festival. And there's a cute little thing at the end where... There's a cute little thing at the end where, um... <laughs> uh, I think it, uh, it... There's these, like, two little lovers where if you... If you touch the little thing, then they go on and hug each other and give you a little heart potion. Do not say a single word.
<laughs> Not a single word. <laughs> Probably pay more attention this time. <laughs> to prevent that again. That was so sad. <laughs> Okay, but I love the little um, blue frogs that are sitting in the lotus petals. Oops, they're so cute. If you touch the little uh, vortex things in the center, you absorb all of the surrounding jellies. So the aim, obviously, is just to touch that. Okay. <laughs> that went a bit better than, than the first time. <laughs> That was so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> Fall less this time. Please. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oops. That's fine. Those are just the minor ones. The ones that I really need to make sure I get are these big ones. Hup, hup. Yes. Cool fireworks? Yeah, they were. They're really pretty too when they have all those like this special jellies. Okay, okay, yep, and yep, yes! Oh, this is what I was talking about, look at that! Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Well, they were cute anyway. Look at these angry frogs. Why are all the frogs in this game so angry? The turtles are happy. Oh, oh that was close. I mean, I don't know why they should be so angry when they have cute little flowers on their heads, but you know. Be happier! You're cute! The little tadpoles. I really like the stage though, like just um, the parallax effect with the different layers of the the bottoms of the lotus flowers, of the lotus leaves in the background. It's very uh, picturesque, I guess you could say. 
All right, let's have yogurt cream cookie speed us through this though. Meow. Okay. Hup, 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 da, 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 da. Destroy as many tadpoles as possible. <laughs> Bonus time! <laughs> there we go. Alright, I was waiting for that. Let's go this way. This way. No. See, we're, we're a bit past halfway there. Living on a prayer. Okay. Oh. Who designed um, these wheels underneath the the lotus pond to have spikes on them though. Okay, Sorbet Shark. This should be perfect for him since we're underwater. <laughs> Go! So cute. Sorb. Now we're at the Lotus Palace. Basically, ev everywhere um, in this in this breakout map is pretty. <laughs> I mean, look at this place. It's gorgeous. I'd love to visit here. Although, maybe not if I have to go through, you know, a giant pond to get here. I think, um, that would be past my uh, swimming capabilities. Like, I can swim, but uh, not that well. <laughs> So we're at Diamond 3, and then we have Lilac Cookie here to finish us off. Ready? Let's go! <laughs> Lilac Cookie, go! Oh, 
Oh. Oh, are those, um, or orchid mantises? Well, I mean, they look like the lotuses, but when they open up, they look like orchid mantises. I guess they're lotus mantises? <laughs> nail out of the jellies. <laughs> before we have to end off because we're at the end of our stamina there as you can see oh okay how do we do a hey, diamond two that's not bad diamond two that's really good and we got as far as the lotus palace which isn't bad at all look at them go <laughs> All righty. <laughs> but yeah, the Fragrant Lotus Paradise, gorgeous. I love it so much. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Shall we do some cookie trials now? that we finished uh, showing those off. <laughs> These two are, are our newest additions to, to Oven Break. We've got Bellflower Cookie, who is the apprentice of Ginseng Cookie here. They're both uh, herbalists, um, traditional medicine practitioners, <laughs> I suppose. Bellflower Cookie's whole thing is collecting herbs. So I, we'll, let's start with her, and then we'll do a ginseng cookie, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so um, I got the magic candy for bellflower cookie as well, which basically just boosts her main skill. Oop, gotta get the timing. Yep. Yay! Yay! The little house is so cute. As you can see, she lives in Herbville. So. Doink. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. But oh well. <laughs> it turned out fine. Do, 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 do. 
herb. 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 Oops. I messed up on the last one. <laughs> oh well. So I really like her little, um... Her, um, jumping and sliding noises too. She sounds a little bit breathy to me, which I think is really cute. Okay, good. I didn't mess up this time. <laughs> A rarity. I'm not... I really like um, Bellflower Cookie as a character. Um, but her playstyle isn't really my style. I mean, you know, playstyle isn't really <laughs> a big thing, but... It's a bit, um, I guess, slow for my tastes. I prefer uh, more dynamic skills. Oh, ginseng cookie appeared. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I missed the T. Mm, we're not gonna get a bonus time, but that's okay. We're out of um, stamina anyway. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, so that was a bellflower cookie. Very cute, very cute. Got a little thing there. And then there's ginseng cookie who... Um, you, he basically collects ginseng jellies and then jumps up, slams down to the bottom of the stage, and then collects more ginseng jellies. <laughs> um, but his magic candy actually gives him like a revival at the end of his uh, stamina run. And then, but during his revivals, revival section, he actually, he gets like ugu sparkly eyes. <laughs> and it's really cute. <laughs> you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's his slam attack. Um, his pet there changes the jellies into ginseng jellies. Bong. track a lot. This is obviously um Jinseng Cookie's ap apothecary. I don't know if you could see his uh Ugu eyes there while he while we were going into bonus time. <laughs> Do 
Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, dun, 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 hey, hey, dun, 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 Here we go! Look at him! Look at his sparkling eyes! Look at how energized he is! If the fog would go away, please! Thank you! Look at him! Precious! there to be scared of. <laughs> but yeah, those were the two newest cookies so far. <laughs> Sad ugu eyes at the end. Yeah. Sad ugu eyes. <laughs> Any requests for a cookie trial to do? The cookie mouths are very cute. They're they're three animal cookies that take turns running. <laughs> um there's also uh several music themed cookies where it's um a cookie rhythm game? Question <laughs> mark. I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit too easy and arbitrary to call it, a, to call them like mini rhythm games. But they're, but they're very cute. Uh, I especially like, I like the concept of popping candy cookie here. He's part of the cake pops. If if you if you get it, cake cake pop, K cake K pop. He, yeah, yeah. He he's he's cookie he's cookie runs BTS essentially. Ah, <laughs> uh, pain. Why? Because because of the uh, because of the pun. Oh, werewolf, werewolf. Okay, good. Okay, we'll do werewolf. He's one of the classic cookies. He's very cute. Um, where is he? Do I even have him? I should. I think it was up here actually. Uh, there he is, there he is. Unfortunately, I only have him at level 3, so you won't be able to see me uh, run his stage for too long. But, he's very cute. Um, I'll show <laughs> I'll show the uh, costumes as well, you know, after I do this run. Um, let's see. So yes, yeah, so Werewolf Cookie trans transforms into a werewolf. Um, and then he goes all push, push, and then claws everything in his way. <laughs> and his pet is a fur ball pup. It's very cute. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Look at him go. Yay! Dun, dun, dun. Yay! We have to rescue all of our fellow uh, doggos from these bad, bad hyenas. Save them! <laughs> Oh. 
Okay, I was a little bit off there, but that's fine. <laughs> Jump. Oh, I should have saved that for a little bit later, but that's fine. Great! The game is so encouraging sometimes. <laughs> I know Werewolf Cookie has a whole thing about how people are terrified of him because they think he's a monster or whatever, but I also think he... Yeah... He should smile more. <laughs> and stop, and stop, you know, brooding and angsting so much. <laughs> Except in lowercase letters. <laughs> Thank you, pup. Yay! <laughs> okay, there we go. Hey, I beat my previous record, which is nice. <laughs> But yeah, um, something I want to show you is... <laughs> so this is one of Werewolf Cookie's costumes. <laughs> Look how edgy he is. <laughs> He's so edgy. <laughs> he looks a bit like a... He, uh... Like a visual K rock band member with this one? I th Werewolf Cookie has been trekking across the wilderness in solitude. Though stopping at village to village, the lone cookie rarely utters a word to others. When the full moon approaches, he makes haste to leave. As he flees, a monstrous entity lurks within his shadow chasing him, getting closer and closer as the moon rises. So... Edgelord Supreme? <laughs> but then, this is his other costume. <laughs> this is his other costume! <laughs> He's so edgy, yeah, but... <laughs> Werewolf Cookie puts this- puts on this adorable costume to call him- calm himself down. <laughs> he turns into a sheep. He puts on a sheep fursuit <laughs> to calm himself down. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, he's great though. I do love him. Alright, shall we move on? <laughs> Any other requests? Dude. Wow, you came back to bother me, huh? <laughs> While I'm streaming? Wow. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> Mio, <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> oh, tickle, tickle. Oh, that tickles. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> it's only been an hour and a half since I started streaming, baby. <laughs> Um, oh yes, one of my favorites is actually DJ Cookie. It's, his, uh, his skill is quite fun. 
Wow, yeah, that's what that's what he sounds like, isn't it? He sounds like he's like, wow. <laughs> Let me show you DJ Cookie because I I, I do quite like his uh. Cookie run the rhythm game. Again, not re you can't really call it to the level of a rhythm game, but I do think it's quite cute. And the fact that his uh, trial has all these music note shapes and looks like we're at a club. <laughs> Are you jamming out to these cookie tunes? <laughs> Done. Oh, oh, I almost missed that one. The air horn at the end, though. <laughs> That was DJ Cookie. Another music cookie. Oh, hang on, let me grab that. What? I'm. What? What is that emoji? What is that? Is that a rock? <laughs> um. Let's see. I think the other ones were up here. Shining Glitter Cookie is a world is a world famous superstar. So basically this game has every kind of cookie that you could ever, you know, want or imagine. <laughs> All types of personalities and careers and uh, gameplay styles. Boombox jelly. All these paparazzi. <laughs> Luxury sports cars. <laughs> Uh, Shining Glitter Cookie strikes me as like 
especially considering what what her stage looks like. She strikes me as one of those like 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 aesthetic, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like the typical aesthetic, like aesthetics that are popular nowadays. trees and everything in the background and the pink and purple gradients and such I don't really know what that aesthetic's called though Here's here's a popping candy cookie who is who is Cookie Runs BTS um, as I said before <laughs> but he's very cute basically um, and his magic candy makes him like sign autographs to send to fans who you know who appear on the stage oh but ev every time he jumps though he ma he makes like a little pose <laughs> so keep an eye out for that. Look. Yeah! These are all the cake pop members. Yeah! And then the leader. Popping candy! Woo! 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 Yeah! <laughs> See? <laughs> that squeal. <laughs> Aren't they all so cute though? Also, apparently Poppin' Candy Cookie's a fan of Shining Glitter Cookie. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I guess you could call her the sunbay that he admires. <laughs> Lore? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's like a whole story and stuff. Uh... Like, apparently he got to meet her once when um, he was a trainee. <laughs> and it just motivated him more. Cute he is though. This is adorable. I would be a fan of popping candy cookie too. <laughs> you know, if I was a cookie. <laughs> I mean, listen to these in inspiring lyrics. <laughs> Such inspire. But 
<laughs> and then when when he's in, did you see that at the end? He he does a little like peace sign at the end. <laughs> Very cute. But yeah, there's a bunch of different kinds of cookies. Another one that I really like is Goblin Cookie. Um, nice peace sign, yeah. <laughs> Goblin Cookie's thing is he 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 uh, sneaks into camp into a camp of um, yam cookie, milk cookie, and dino sour cookie, and he steals their stuff. <laughs> he literally just sneaks in and ste ste steals their stuff. <laughs> He, he has like a uh, really full lips though. It's very cute. Like whenever he's sliding, he has he has like um, you know you know those duck lips. <laughs> Let me show you. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oops. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Look at those lips. Such luscious lips. Mmm. <laughs> He's so pleased with himself. <laughs> okay, this time let's try not to get caught. <laughs> there we go. Bye! Thanks for your stuff! <laughs> yeah, Goblin Cookie is quite an amusing character. <laughs> Huge sack on his back too. It does remind me of like I I'm actually not sure where this like stereotype kind of thing originated from. Oops. <laughs> I started collecting too early. But it there's like a thing where there's like these goblins that have uh, sacks on their backs and steal steal things from other people. Which I'm sure is what they're ba they based uh, Goblin Cookie off of. But I don't remember, um, I don't quite know where that, where that came from. It must be part of some actual lore or something. Maybe from brownies? But no, I think brownies are household fairies, right? Hmm. I need to brush up on my mythology. <laughs> Yeah, there's cute ones like that. Um, we could do almond cookies trial, uh, just for Chess, who, who's probably lurking in the background. <laughs> Why not? Let me change the treasures though. Let's do this one, this one, and this one. So almond cookie mostly resolves um, magical in incidents, criminals, and trouble made from by magicians and such. But I'm pretty sure he just he, he well he's a cop, in general, a detective, a private eye. Um, but his main rival is. Lou Cheese Cookie, I believe his name is. 
Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. It was, um, Rogue Four. That was it. Rogue Four. It's a type of blue cheese. He's from the blue cheese family. So, Rogue Four is like, is basically like a Kaito. While, um, Almond Cookie is the Mei Tante. I don't know if you know what that means. It's like, um, it's like the whole Phantom Thief versus, versus, uh, City Cop, si uh, Investigator type thing. <laughs> Rogue Four is a is is like one of those uh, typical phantom thieves that you know go after works of art in museums and stuff, but always leave notice beforehand. You know. <laughs> Hence why um, there's some jellies that are actually in the shape of a uh, Rogue Four cookie. I think at the I think at the end of this one, yes, okay, the end of this one has, um, so these are, uh, oh, we found him, we're chasing after him, there's gems, and there he is! <laughs> they add his, like, blue hat and everything, it's very cute. Dun 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 Bum 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 dun 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 I suppose I might as well show Rogue Four Cookie after this one, since I did mention him. Although I haven't really played him. Hence, I'm not gonna be any good, but you know. But let's be honest, you're not here to see my epic gameplay, you're here to see cute cookies and me fail at playing this game, so... <laughs> They really got the, um, I guess, um, pseudo-noir style for the background music as well. <laughs> like, you know, the stereotype that Almond Cookie is based off of. I don't really know how to describe it, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Like... The whole, like, hard-boiled detective who who does a private investigation to catch criminals in the gritty city, streets, you know. <laughs> oh hey, I got diamond. I wasn't trying to, but I did it. <laughs> Yay! Rewards. <laughs> More rewards. Okay. Where's Rogue for? There he is. Rogue Four also has a cat. Lord Crumbles the <laughs> Third. But yes, this is Rogue Four Cookie. Uh, you can, you know, he 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 even has the uh, the monocle. <laughs> it's part of the fallen blue cheese family. Heist time! Woo! I 
actually failed that one. It's fine. Yeah. Look at how cool he is. So suave. So majestic. <laughs> Basically, you steal the gems and then you have to avoid these spotlights. And then escape the police! Yeah! Okay, I actually did it that time. <laughs> Bonus time! Yay! It's like one of those situations where you don't really know who to root for because you like everybody. <laughs> you like both sides. The detective and the um, the phantom thief. Oh shoot. Oh, I missed it. I missed the button, no. And it spares. <laughs> but yeah, that was Rogue Four. Very handsome, very suave, very, uh... <laughs> Kaito-esque. <laughs> Ow! Mm, I just did a good stretch there. <laughs> okay, but Chess, are you working? Are you really working? Slacker. <laughs> Before Bellflower Cookie and Ginseng Cookie were released, it was Lilac Cookie and then Scorpion Cookie who was released. Now these two actually have history with each other. Um, they knew each other from a long time ago. Kind of. <laughs> Lilac Cookie at the moment is um, Yogurt Cream Cookie's bodyguard. Meanwhile, Scorpion Cookie is still, you know, um, a hireable assassin. And they use poisonous needles and such. I really like Scorpion Cookie as a, as a character, though. They're like... I don't know how to describe them. Like one of those sly shady characters that you can tell is shady right from the outset. 
always smiling with their eyes closed un unless it's like a serious moment in which they open their eyes and then you go like, oh shoot. <laughs> You can get a lot of coins from Scorpion Cookie's Trial, which is really nice. Like so. Look at all these scared bandits. They know that they know that they don't stand a chance against Scorpion Cookie. <laughs> Probably not the most efficient way to use um Scorpion Cookie's skill there, but that's all right. Bonus time! Yeah! Mm -hmm. Did you notice that there's a bear in the nebula back there? <laughs> Scorpion! Scorpion Cookie also gets a couple extra jumps. I guess because they're a highly trained assassin? Yeah, that was Scorpion Cookie. And uh, for a finale, shall I show you Lilac Cookie's trial? Actually, I'll do Lilac Cookie, and then I'll do my favorite. Um, I'll do my favorite Earl Grey Cookie, and then we'll end the stream. There, I sent a work email I otherwise would have ignored. Are you proud of me, Master Lacry? I am very proud of you. <laughs> Please do take care of your more immediate <laughs> um, livelihood concerns <laughs> over watching the stream and playing Tweewee. <laughs> yes, good servant, good. <laughs> Have you thought of a of a name for um uh for uh the viewers yet? <laughs> Chess. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dan, what's with that face? <laughs> okay, let's let's do Lilac Cookie. Lilac Cookie has cute tigers in it. Liger Cookie's trial, I mean. Come on. Definitely also not working. Hey. <laughs> I of course appreciate your support, but you know, being responsible is more important. <laughs> it's all right. The stream's almost done anyway, I suppose. <laughs> Poor Tiger is getting woken up. Still thinking on it? Take your time. <laughs> oh, there's the one there. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
Tiger just got yeeted. <laughs> I like the little faces on all of the uh, the pots. That one's ha a happy pot. <laughs> Sleepy pots. Another sleepy pot. A yeeted pot. <laughs> Lila Cookie is so pretty though. gems. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, <laughs> that poor tiger. <laughs> Imagine getting woken up. And then immediately yeeted by by a uh, boomerang with a bear on it. Hey, I beat my previous high score! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, and now the final one, my favorite. Earl Grey Cookie. Like I said, he's a hotelier. <laughs> Yay! Ta-da! <laughs> and he does a little spinny spinny. Clap clap! da <laughs> This is the Grand Master Hotel. The hotel that he owns and runs. Look at all of his, uh. Look at all of the same outfit that he has in his closet. <laughs> As you can see, the, the little, uh. The hotel staff are all like teacups and. And such. <laughs> I really like this music too. Little candle housekeeping. Very cute. So Earl Grey Cookie, he, um, he's actually also a servant to Chess Choco Cookie. 
So because of that, um, since Chess Choco Cookie are on the side of Dark Enchantress Cookie, technically he's on the side of like evil, but it, it's not really that he believes in Dark Enchantress's Dark Enchantress Cookie's cause or anything. He's just you know loyal to Chess Choco Cookie. Look at all these rude cutlery. <laughs> Arguably speaking, Chess Choco Cookie also I mean they're they're a pair of twins, like kids. Um Oops. Wrong one there. Um but Dark Enchantress Cookie essentially took them in, which is why they're on her side. But I don't necessarily think that they're evil either. <laughs> they're just... they're just babies. Even though they're, you know, chess grandmasters. <laughs> and super intelligent. They're still... they're still babies. <laughs> It's so cute because when Chess Choco Cookie runs, um, sometimes they like stack up on each other. They run together, obviously. They're, you know. Yes, that's right. Actually, I should I should show you the chess cookies too. We'll we'll do that before the end of stream cuz, you know, chess. <laughs> All right. Here is Earl Grey Cookies Masters. Chess Choco Cookie. Um Earl Grey is very devoted to them. Uh to the point where they were like we want an entire basement that's a giant chessboard! And Earl Grey Cookie was like... It shall be done. <laughs> Look at them, aren't they so cute? We win! We won. Look at them, adorable. Look at them stacked on each other! They're so cute! <laughs> and they take turns running as well, in front at least. But otherwise, they hold hands! <laughs> they hold hands! <laughs> They're so cute! <laughs> Whee! Look at them with holding their hats down. I knew you would love them. <laughs> Obviously, all of their um, little skill things are based off of different chess pieces. Oh, here comes the Black King. You want a basement that's a giant chessboard? <laughs> Well, 
You're gonna have to find yourself an Earl Grey cookie then. <laughs> Look at them, so cute. <laughs> and look at their little pouty angry face <laughs> when, when they run out of the stamina. <laughs> uh, they're very cute. Babies. Okay. And they're uh... Little pet is nougat night. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, let's see. Let me just collect my things here. This is a current event going on where we can uh, get items and such. Um, they're mostly uh, made to boost ginseng cookies like essentially materials for ginseng cookies um, magic candy what a nice old man and then um once I finish throwing all these, then how about we do a gacha? A gacha pull. I think it's only fitting to try and get more um, chest choco cookies. few more. <laughs> One, two. That's lucky. Coins are always useful in this game because you need them to basically upgrade anything. <laughs> have several pulls. So let's try cookie pull and aim for some choco chess cookies. All right, ready? Go! All right, cheesecake cookie, cherry cookie, princess cookie. All right, There we go! Look at them! <laughs> Chest choco cookie! Woo! And... Beet cookie. Okay. That's fine. Um, not one that I would use. Okay. Let's go... Again! Gumball cookie. Cheesecake cookie. Soda cookie. Okay. Ready, and... Almond cookie, okay, well... <laughs> you know, we, we, we got Chess's uh, simp target, so... <laughs> and... Hey! We did it! <laughs> we got Chess Choco cookie again! I'm never this lucky. <laughs> All right, let's level them up. 
where they go. There they are. Pawn Black Cookie, I'm going to move our bishop. So cute. Alright, we can get them all the way up to level 5. Yeah! I don't have enough ingredients to make their magic candy yet. But I'll work on that for next stream. <laughs> they are, um, I believe they're quite useful cookies in general anyway. I'm gonna use these. <laughs> level 6. Still far away from level 15, but that should help at least a bit. They don't have any costumes because they're relatively new. Um also I just want you to I just want you to look at just just look look at this pet. That's all that's all I want you to do. It it rolls <laughs> It rolls its body. It it, it rolls. <laughs> it rolls. <laughs> Look at its face. <laughs> it rolls. <laughs> Look at it. This little fellow likes to sit still and think, and think, and think. It thinks, therefore it exists. When it thinks too much, it rolls over on its back and stops for a while to let some thoughts go. <laughs> so it's... It, it's a Descartes seal. <laughs> okay, sorry, that, that was a non sequitur, but I just wanted to show you this seal, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this stream of some cookies. Um, I'll be streaming more Cookie Run in the future, so please look forward to that. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you so very much for stopping by. <laughs> and then I, I hope you'll be excited for some, for some more um, well-baked goodness in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye bye. <laughs>